climate is changing. The continental ice sheets of Greenland and Antarctica are melting. How will this affect the Norwegian coast? Sea levels have to be monitored accurately to find out. Satellites measure changes in sea level from space. They send radar pulses towards the Earth and time the echo that bounces back. Scientists have thus discovered that the oceans of the world are rising at an average of 3 millimeters per year in the open seas. But you can't just look down from space when you want to find sea level changes at any given spot. You have to go down to the shores. This is the monitoring station at Tregeda near Mandal in South Norway. The sea level here is measured continuously and data is relayed to the Norwegian Mapping Authority. A shaft down to the water leads from the measuring shed. The white circle is the most important item. Inne i målebrønnen så har vi en sånn flottør. Den ligger på vannflata og følger vannstanden opp og ned. Sånn som det her. Several floats like this measure the sea levels up and down the Norwegian coast. They show that the sea is rising, but not as much as satellites indicate. In some spots, the sea level is even falling, for instance in Oslo, by 1.7 millimeters per year, whereas in Bergen, it's rising by 1.1 millimeters per year. Why? The answer is found below what was once a thick sheet of ice until 10,000 years ago. During the last ice age, the ice was around a kilometer thick over much of the northern hemisphere. The weight of all that frozen water pressed all of Norway downward for tens of thousands of years. When the ice melted, the bedrock started to slowly spring back up, fastest in eastern Norway, where the ice had been thickest and had the most mass. The country is still undergoing this uplift of several millimeters per year. The artificial lake in Oslo's medieval ruin park shows where the fjord shoreline was when Oslo was a small town a thousand years ago, 3.3 meters above where it is now. So even though the sea is rising due to climate changes, the land here is rising too. Researchers at the Norwegian Mapping Authority keep track of this post-glacial rebound with the help of a network of GPS stations. One of them is right here at the Opera in Oslo. So far, in Oslo and many other places in Norway, the rebound is still ahead of the game. But which will win in the long run? We don't know yet, so we have to continue measuring as accurately as we can, both how much the sea is rising and how much the land is rising. Up until now, this rebound from the Ice Age has surprisingly had more of an impact on the sea levels in Norway than the oceans have. 